Baldock and Lowe had issues after the game the other day. What's the, the latest right now? Yeah, OK, so a bit of fatigue, obviously. Jo uh, Lowe is carrying a little ankle injury as well, which which we knew about, didn't we, when it, we did it on a sprinkler at Derby. Uh, but it was a cramp, what, what he came off with the other day. So, yeah, he's uh, he's fine. Everybody else, all right? Yeah, fine. I said one or two back in early this week. So, yeah, and hopefully we'll uh, have Jaden back with us soon enough as well. So, yeah. Bit by bit, like I said, we just get stronger, whether that's injuries returning and, and body through the door as well. How, how much of a challenge has it been to integrate all these new players then recently? I mean, over the last six weeks, to get, to get them to a place <coughs> where they're getting up to speed right now? Yeah, we, it's been different. We've had some boys who've been in the building a while and have been away with us in Portugal. Um, Obviously, Benny we signed, then he had to go away and get his visa, so he's been a little bit behind, but at least he's had some training days with us. And then we've got the rest of the lads who have sort of uh, arrived after the season started, so, yeah, we're not going to get all that time to do all the, the, the bonding stuff you get away from here, so it will just be in and around this place we do things like that, and then, as I say, they'll be getting a lot of the fitness in the first team minutes. Hamer, Harmer, how do you see him? fitting in and being deployed into this group of players? Well, he's made good impression straight away in terms of his personality. They all have, the boys have. I think we've recruited some, um, yeah, good character into into the squad, which is always important. Um, <clears throat> we've signed him because of how he's been playing um, the last few seasons, so we want to see the same. He is all action, he loves to get on the ball, uh, he's an energetic player. Um, and he's not, and he's fearless in that final third as well. He's, he's got a lot of his assists from set plays. He's got good delivery, but he's got a lot of his goals either from distance or arriving in the box. So, well, yeah, we've signed him for the things that he is doing, which we like. Um, we want to push him on getting in the box more to score more goals. He, he wants to do that as well. Yeah, so um, yeah, we're pleased with that. Tom Davis, how long has this been a, an option for you, or he been an option for you? Yes, uh, first spot with Tom. Uh, yeah, long time ago, long time ago. Uh, yeah, so he's always been there. He's, he's, he's sort of been hanging on, wanting us to uh, wanted to come and play for us, which has been good. Yeah, but as I said, we've obviously we've we've, we've had our issues. We've, we've but he's been patient enough to wait. And this weekend, like I said, we we could push the button on a couple, and yeah, we're glad to get that done. How much do you find a player? <clears throat> keen to get his career back on track because I realise this happens quite a bit but as a very young player he was the highest of highs and it's sort of dipped since then mm. Yeah I think uh, and that tends to happen a lot of young players who have been come through at a club it's no matter what happens we try not to have that uh, mindset here but certainly especially if a, if a club's turning over managers or there's lots of different managers homegrown players or younger players in that squad can always they always seem to be Threaten a certain way, and and I don't know. I've not been in and around Everton, and I've not spoke to Tom about this. this is just my impression. But you can almost be the one that gets sacrificed. You can almost be the one that's always thought of as beneath, and then that begins to affect lots of things. Um, so Tom was keen for a fresh start, regardless of the opportunity to stay at Everton. He was keen for a fresh start, and um, yeah, after we spoke, he's been. Because there's been other options, but he's been holding on for uh, in the hope that we could get something done, and we've been able to do that. So yeah, we know we've got a hungry player. Uh, from our point of view, we've got a player who's played all his minutes in the Premier League, mm. which is a bonus for us. So you know, uh, no occasion, no venue, no team is going to phase him because that's the only thing he knows. Um, but from our point of view, he's he's really hungry to uh, experience something new, to learn a different way of playing. Uh, yeah, and he's uh, he's been really excited about it. Yeah, that that's the flip side, isn't it, of of Tom's career, waned to whatever extent. He's still got 155 Premier League appearances under his belt, which must be massive for this squad. Yeah, yeah, like I say, he's got a lot of experience for his um, for his age, but it's at it's in the league where we are now, in at the level that we're at. Um, and like I say, we've got a lot of excited people, a lot of people who are. Um, yeah, going to be playing on adrenaline and, and, and enthusiasm to help us try and achieve points and pick up points. But we've recruited a player there who we almost know the occasion is not going to affect him at all, you know. Mm -hmm. um, and he's, he's got a different driver. It's not an excitement. It's, it's an excitement about being at a new club rather than the league. He knows the league. And it's a determination to uh, 
to do well and, Im and improve that's, uh, that's driving him in this league, not just the league itself. Three-year deal, that's quite the commitment, isn't it, for, for both of you? Yeah, well, he wants, he likes the fact that Sheffield United, what we presented, the club, he knows the club, he's played here before, um, he knows the club, he knows the, the, the stadium, he knows the area, and then he understood what we showed him in terms of how we want to play, uh, how we see him as a player and where we would like to work with him, what we like about him that can add to our squad right straight away and what we think we can add to him to, to help him improve. So he was he was really keen and then from our point of view, if we're doing that work, we want to get the benefit of, of the player. When you spoke to us on Saturday after the match, you were hoping for a couple of signings this week, obviously Tom being one. Um, how likely is it between now and the Forest match that Sheffield United can add to the squad? <coughs> Yeah, <coughs> I was hoping that that we would. Uh, still hopeful. Yeah, it's only two days now, so who who knows, you know. But yeah, we, we the work's not going to stop, regardless when the fixtures are. We have to just do it as quick as we possibly can and, and get working with the players. So yeah, the work's not going to stop. Um, but likewise, our planning and preparation for Forest can't stop just in the hope that we get someone. So yeah, it's um, yeah the work behind the scenes will continue, but. In here now, our focus is just on Forest. Presumably, I mean, even if they were to sign, as soon as you walk out the door, they're not going to be involved on Friday anyway. Well, it depends what they've been, what they've been exposed to pre-season, have they been playing games, you know? Um, yeah, so there are lots of things that can come into it. There's been a lot of talk about Cameron Archer. Can you shed any light on that as to where any attempts to bring him in are? You know my answer, don't you? Yeah, it's not our players, Villas. In terms of him as a player, yeah, know all about him. He obviously scored against us last season. Yeah, saw him play at Preston as well. Uh, again, know all about him. And, uh, uh, well, correct me if I'm wrong. I mean, with regards to, to loan signings now, particularly ones that have been often discussed this summer, I mean, given how the fixtures are going to fall, presumably nothing is going to happen with them until relatively late in the window. Yeah, that's what we saw prepared for. If... if the domestic, well, even no, no, even international loans, but certainly domestic ones. We know we're only allowed two international ones. We can get a lot more. Um, <clears throat> but the fact we're in the Premier League, the fact that we've got good players in the building, and we want to improve on that, um, means we want the best possible loans. The fact we're looking at the top end of the pitch now, or more, more likely to the top end of the pitch. Um, yeah, people are reluctant to let those players go. We're looking for a good calibre of player, so they're going to be in people's squads until they're released, and whether whenever that may be. So, yeah, we we resigned to the fact that it was probably going to look this way anyway. Two final points from me. What do you want to see as an improvement in between Palace and Forest? Oh, lots of things. So we we want to have a better balance to the team. We know. We've recruited, so training's been better, like I say, since the, the new boys have come in in terms of the character, the uh, the quality. Um, it would, would have been great to have had that from the start and have a match ready now and be going into the game, really attacking the games and expecting us to put in the performances that we're capable of. Um, so, yeah, we know that's compromised slightly, but we still want the performances to help us win games and pick up the points. So, yeah, better balance to the team. Um, we want the same energy, we want the same work rate. We need more of a threat at the top end of the pitch, without a doubt. But that's not just coming from the players at the top end of the pitch. That's in how we keep the ball, where we can win the ball back and, and how we can manage that side of the game as well. I thought we managed uh, the game pretty well when Palace had the ball, um, but not as well when we had it. You, you described that match as a, as a missed opportunity. How much is facing Forrest then a great opportunity to maybe get some points on the board? Every, we, have, we approach every game like that, every game. Um, yeah, and we can't be worried now about a, goal, a game's gone. Like It's always the next game, the next game, the next game. And we're doing all our work with the players, whether that's fitness, whether that's bedding them in into the group, um, all the tactical work that we're doing with them. We know we're doing it in amongst the fixtures, which is not ideal. But it's certainly a lot better than last season when we were playing every Saturday, Tuesday. You know, So we have got that little bit more time and we are using it. Um, yeah, so yeah, it's just flat out work and... and uh, reflection on what they're taking in, what do they still need and then work again and, and it'll be that throughout the season anyway.